In this video, I will demonstrate how to build a VPN uh, to your MileSite UG65. Uh, both your laptop or smartphone and the UG65, they'll all be in OpenVPN client mode. Uh, and we'll use the OpenVPN cloud portal to configure. Uh, I've documented out the high level steps uh, there on the screen. I'm not gonna go into detail uh, to try to keep this video short and simple. What I will say, uh, and I'll post the, this link to this article uh, down below, but what I will say is MileSite put together a pretty, pretty decent document together on how to configure this. Uh, the only challenge I had was it operates under the assumption that you have the OpenVPN cloud portal already set up uh, and you have your connections built, etc. Uh, what I'll do is I'll focus on not only the OpenVPN cloud side, but we'll also run through the configuration on the UG65. So to get started, you would sign up for an OpenVPN cloud account. By default, you'll get three VPN connections for free. Uh, and the first step, and what I would recommend you do is first set up your, your own client VPN, which means your laptop or your smartphone, how are you gonna connect to the OpenVPN cloud, okay? You come down here to hosts and you click create host, okay? I'm gonna call it my laptop. Next, you'll define a connector. You select your closest region click next okay now we need to deploy the host now it's not deploying it to my laptop or you know on a system uh, here where i am this is deploying it to the cloud okay this is how we're going to connect to openvpn i'm going to select the linux operating system red hat 8 again this is on the openvpn side click next now nothing's connected from uh from my laptop yet, so this uh, little status indicator is expected. Just simply click, click proceed without testing. If you wanted to get a little more granular with adding services and, and, and access groups, you can. Uh, I am going to click next and finish. And the next thing I'm gonna do is, and this is called out in the document for both your, your, your laptop slash smartphone and the UG65. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the profile, okay? And you're gonna come into your client. I'm gonna click browse, go to downloads, and I'm gonna click on the VPN connection and click connect. What this is doing, this is testing your access to the OpenVPN cloud. So as you can see, I'm now connected and I see activity here, okay? So if we go back to the MileSite document, okay? This is needed to also set up your, uh, your UG65, okay? So you basically repeat those steps. I already did that here. You can see now that I have two hosts. So basically the steps that I just showed you, you're gonna do the same exact thing to create your host. But what I would recommend is just name your host, you know, something descriptive, UG65. So, you know, at the end of this, you should have two hosts. You'll go into this and you'll download the same file. Now, the reason why you download it on the UG65 is once you open it, okay, there's going to be a section of the configuration where your gateway is shown. And that's right next to the word remote. You're going to want to copy that. And the reason why, if we go back to the mile site documentation, it has us log into our uh, gateway. Okay. I'm going to log in. Now, obviously, if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to want to be on site. Once you get the VPN configured, obviously, you can manage it remotely. But you're going to go into network, VPN, open VPN client. And the reason why I ha had you copy the gateway is this is a, this is really the only setting that's needed. Okay, so again, that's in that file you downloaded. You're just going to copy this out here. Okay, that's going to change depending on 
you know, which region you selected because it's going to use the closest gateway. Okay, you're going to want to tick the box. The only other change that's different uh, from the document is I left compression on the default, which is enabled LZO. Once you're done, you click save. All of this is spelled out in this document in step four and in step five. Step five goes into a little bit more detail on what, what to configure. Now with step four, this could be a confusing to some people. Think of it this way. All you're going to do is reference that same file. Okay, you're going to come in and you're going to do a couple of copy and paste into new files. Okay, so as an example, this, for example, is my CA file. Okay, copy the contents, paste it in. And when I do a file save as, okay, I'm going to select all files. The key really is in the, in the uh, file extensions. Okay, you're going to create two certificate files ending in CRT and two key files. Uh, ending in K-E-Y. This is called out in the document, okay? But I just wanted to highlight that, you know, it's basically just using that profile to create the certificates and keys, okay? That's needed for step five. We go back into the mile site, come over here to certifications, and what you're going to do, there's no save on this screen. Notice at the bottom, there's no save button. All you're doing here is you're going to import a certificate. So you're going to browse to that file location, collect your, uh, select your certificate file, click import. You do the same thing for the rest of the files. Once you're done importing each of them, okay, you'll notice in the document that it talks about kind of immediately going into status VPN. This for me is where I basically burned up a lot of time. I did some troubleshooting. It wouldn't come up. I went out to Discord, I checked a few things. I noticed someone on Discord mentioned a reboot, and that's kind of when a light bulb went off. I didn't make any additional changes, but what I did was I went in to maintenance, went into reboot, and then rebooted my UG65. Once it came back up, I went into status, VPN, and that's when I could see that it was connected. Now, obviously, if you're remote or you know, you're looking for which IP to connect. In the document itself, it talks about kind of which IP to connect to. In my opinion, the easiest thing to do, especially since you're not going to have access to this remotely, is just check your hosts uh, in OpenVPN and you'll see for your, uh, your gateway, you'll notice that there is an IP associated with the connector. Okay, this is basically the tunnel IP. You can copy this address and connect directly to it, okay? When your VPN connection is on, like mine is here, you should be able to connect to that, okay? If I go back to, let's say, for example, my SSH client, the same rule applies where I could connect to that tunnel IP. You know, I have some uh, shortcuts in uh, Secure CRT, just to kind of uh, these little buttons with the commands listed out. But it's a very easy way to uh, manage the gateway remotely. And when I'm done, for example, doing my maintenance or doing my checks, all I do is click the disconnect button. Okay. One way to think of it, I'll just go back to the diagram, uh, is that you're building a VPN between these two hosts. Okay. In my opinion, that's the best way to think of it. You know, there are other uh, approaches to the VPN and how to how to configure it using networks and other types of uh, gateways and, and cloud VPN services. But with this, it's really just building a VPN between these two hosts. And notice since I disabled my laptop client, uh, it's now showing offline. Now, I hope that was informative. I hope that kind of helps save you guys some time. Uh, good luck. And if anyone has any questions or comments, feel free to to list them down below and you could find me out in discord uh, using firewall 72.